Ovarian cancer claims the lives of thousands of women each year, and many don't even know they have it until it's too late. Lisa Benson is live at the seventh annual Whisper Walk for Ovarian Cancer in Zona Rosa with more. Good morning, Lisa. Good morning, Keith, and you are so right. These people are here to raise awareness about ovarian cancer. In fact, they're gearing up for a 5K. You can take a look and see people are actually carving up, getting ready for this walk. You may not know that there is no early testing for ovarian cancer, and pap smears only detect cervical cancer. Now I'm joined here live with David Welsh, who's an organizer, and you've also been personally affected by ovarian cancer, right? That's correct. I uh, lost my wife in uh, January the uh, 22nd, 2006. And two and a half months later, I lost my mother to the same cancer. Wow, un unbelievable. Tell me why you all call this the Whisper Walk. The Whisper Walk is called this because the symptoms for ovarian cancer are so vague, they whisper. And that's why it's called the Whisper Walk. And it's a, it's a very good cause. We'd love to have everybody come up here today. Uh, there's so many people out here. This place will be filled with about 2,500 today. And what lessons, what would you like for women to take from this event today? The, no, the four major symptoms for ovarian cancer. One, that's bloating, uh, freaky urinary, uh, also the uh, feeling full quickly, and the other one is uh, pelvic and abdominal pain. Those are your four major symptoms. And a lot of women, for some reason, they think because they've had a hysterectomy, they don't have to worry about this. Well, my mother had a hysterectomy as well about 40 years before she passed away from ovarian cancer. So if you've had an ovary, when they removed the ovary, they could have left a cell that could have cancer. So listen to these symptoms. They're very, very important. Listen to your body. Well, thank you so much, Dave. And again, this is a very important cause. The Whisper Walk, it starts at 9 o'clock, so people have plenty of time to come out here and support the walkers and, as, and raise awareness about this deadly disease. Reporting live, Lisa Benson, NBC Action News.